Just like the Grammys are for music and the Oscars are for film, there are the Voice Arts Awards. Voice Arts celebrates the spoken word for voiceovers in TV commercials, movie trailers, documentaries, and animated films like the recently released Incredibles 2. There are also Voice Arts Awards for audiobooks in a variety of genres. Recently, Dennis Kleinman, my audiobook narrator, and I had the incredible honor of having the audiobook for When Your Life Depends On It nominated as a finalist in the Best Audiobook History category. I'm Brad Borkin, co-author of the book, and this short video explains how our audiobook came to life and why it came to be competing for a major prize in Hollywood. To give you an idea of the competition in our category, the four other books that were shortlisted included a book that's a Pulitzer Prize finalist, a book by Carl Sagan, and a book about Trump called Trumpocracy. All were New York Times bestsellers. All were published by big name publishers. And then there was ours, self-published, 26 reviews on Amazon.com, and maybe 2,000 copies sold. But before we get into that, let's talk about the award ceremony. As the poster shows, it was promising to be a star-studded red carpet gala event featuring Sigourney Weaver, Rosaria Dawson, and Van Jones, and was taking place at Warner Brothers Studios in Hollywood. The award would be won by my audiobook narrator, Dennis Kleiman. All my UK author friends encouraged me to attend. It truly was a great event. Dennis is, one, is the one on the right-hand side of the photo. He is an incredible voice actor. He is South African and has lived in LA for the past 20 years. His voice is deeply resonant. He is also a great person to work with. I decided an audiobook was critical in the evolution of my book. I started by thinking, what would the early Antarctic explorers have sounded like? Men who risked their lives for science, discovery, and exploration in the most hostile environment on the planet. I decided the voice needed to be male with deep, rich intonation and a British accent. I listened to hundreds of audition recordings from voice actors, and I found I kept coming back to Dennis's. Upon making contact, Dennis kindly recorded the opening five paragraphs of the book, a true story about three men on the ice, one of whom is dying of scurvy, who asks his companions to leave him behind on the ice to die. As soon as I heard the recording, I instantly knew I found the right voice. Dennis and I worked tirelessly to get the appropriate tonality for the book. The early Antarctic explorers faced risks, adversity, starvation, and sometimes death with nobility and a sense of purpose. Yet how do you convey that effectively in an audiobook? Dennis absolutely nailed it. As soon as the audiobook was completed, Dennis suggested that he re-record the opening segment about the three men on the ice, because having now finished recording the whole book, he knew exactly how to make that opening, opening segment especially compelling. That is what we submitted to Voice Arts for our award um, submission. We were incredibly pleased to find that Dennis was shortlisted from the hundreds of entries in our category. The event was absolutely amazing, complete with a real red carpet. It took place in the main theater within the Warner Brothers Studio Complex in Burbank, California. It started with an outdoor cocktail party, which gave a great opportunity to meet all the wonderfully talented voice actors up for awards. At 6 p.m., we were invited inside the theater. Just like at the Grammys or Oscars, a celebrity would read the nominations for a category and the envelope would be opened. The winner would come up on stage to make an acceptance speech. Sigourney Weaver, Rosaria Dawson, and Van Jones all received special voice arts awards and each gave surprisingly political speeches, anti-Trump, pro-environment, pro-diversity. Two-thirds of the way through the evening, our category came up. When Dennis's name was read, he received a great cheer from the audience as he is well known in the voiceover community. While we didn't expect to win going in, given how pro-environment the celebrities' speeches were, I have to confess to getting my hopes up that a book about Antarctica could win. Sadly, it was not to be. But just being on the same slide as Carl Sagan's book Cosmos, which did win our category, is a dream come true for a self-published author. It was a great honor to be there and wonderful to meet Dennis in person. He has now become a lifelong friend. It was also an opportunity to cavort with celebrities like Gwendolyn Yao, who starred in Desperate Housewives. And best of all was meeting all the great voice actors. They're all passionate, inspired, and friendly, similar in actuality to the many people I know in the Antarctic community and in the UK author community. Great people who love what they do. Thanks to Dennis and the voice arts community, it was definitely one of the top 10 of evenings in my life.